Hello viewers, welcome to our today's tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can model any type of truss you want in AutoCAD and export it to Plotter structure. As far as you can conceive the idea of the type of truss you want, for instance, like this is a, is a double curve, is a curve as the, the top cord and a curve as the bottom cord. If you're familiar with Proctor, you discover that Proctor only has a truss. Proctor only has a curve truss, right? it's this way. Big line. Proctor only has. Proton only has a truss that is this way. It lines divide and then say uh, offset. That is proton only has a truss that is divided this way and only curve at the bottom. So only curve at the top and not curve in the, in the bottom. So in case you want to customize something that like this, it has a curve on top, it has a curve at the bottom. This is how you can model it in, uh, in AutoCAD. I've already done, done this, just pick with the same way I've done it, you, you, you pick another curve. somewhere here and then you select the second point and then you try to you know, try to get what you want this is like this you need stop and uh, you train train the pass you don't want then you can now press it inside train here and train this see so you can now press it how you want and you can arrange this how you how, how much of the curve do you want depends on your the arc you will draw here so this is uh, how uh, i was able to do this so once you consider the idea of how you want your trust to be you need a uh, uh, normal this this, way, this normal triangular trust this sometimes you, you it, how you want your your members inside this truss to be arranged it will not be the same way that Proctor arranged theirs. So you are the engineer, you are in charge. So you can arrange your, your trusses how you want it. And this is how you can arrange it in AutoCAD. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can export this. You can save this as a TXL and then export this to, to Proctor structure. And then uh, as your truss. And you can either you can either save it and be using it or you can save it for the particular work and use it for the particular work the project you're working on. So you to save this as 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 a DXA, just select it and type W on the keyboard and enter. Then you enter the name. <coughs> first you select where you want this to be saved. Already I have saved it. See, circular truss is already here. As circular truss two, I did the other one. Circular truss one, circular truss two. So, if I'm not done it, is how you select here as DXF 18. Then uh, type the name. I want to type the name. Circular. 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 Truss. I'm going to put three now. Okay, you save. Change the unit here to millimeters. Because I'm using metrics. Okay. So you have saved this. You want to save this. Do the same thing here. W, enter. So it's 
select the place see the given name as triangular 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 truss triangular truss it's already on the XF 218 then uh, click save save all your trusses so now we'll go to plot uh, 2021 and lumps Project, give it a call, customize, customize, shift, customize trust, customize trust, select the code you want to use using Euro, UK, Euro code. Now the first thing you do is to create your axis. So you go to modeling and create axis using orthogonal axis generator or using this grid. So I'm going to pick my grid. I'm going to pick grid. Start anywhere you want. Since sensible enough, it has given A this way and it has given 1. So now you can offset it how you want based on your architectural grids, where you want your column, where you want to place your columns. So I click offset. Select 
stretch as this select it here and drag it up so to stretch as this something just like this so now we our truss is going to be here we'll place our trusses okay so first we have to create our columns our steel columns we already installed it is go to steel members and pick a steel column so you want you can go to section and change any member you want let's say i'm going to use hero Select anyone here. We're going to import import our circular circular truss three. This one we open. See, that's come. This is what we model in AutoCAD. So the first thing you do now is to pick where your the, your insertion point of your truss. So you, you pick the starting point yeah. and the ending point and tell the, the software that you know that this is where you want it to be inserted. So first you go to start point and pick the start point. I want this point to be my insertion, be my start point, my end point. I want this point to be my end point. So I this from all, all this one there will be acting like a but more like a shade outside and this will be the one that will be on color this this two portion will be the one that will be on color so if you want this to be on color you select here you select here so that it will be exactly the whole this will be exactly on the color so it's your choice so you now import This is what you have. So now, as you put the whole, the whole thing, everything is, is yellow. When you look at this chart, yellow is for general. Like everything is, is not classified, it's on general. Black is for horizontal, red is for diagonal. This vertical, blue, uh, uh, bottom coat, and green top coat. So you have to define which member is a top coat, which member is a is a button code, which member is a diagonal and which member and this of the their assigned members. So now we we'll pick all these top ones and we'll give them define them as top code. Pick these top ones just like this. And you right click and give them as well top code. See the color has changed to same color here that is uh, green and we pick we pick this we pick this and the auto we put 
put one vertical here. And we need put. Okay, I'm just showing you. Okay. If you have to make some changes, how do you want to make changes in your AutoCAD before importing? Put some vertical here. Since we didn't put, no problem. I'll continue. Select this. 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 And also yeah. put one particular here. Okay. So we we'll click and set as diagonals. It's a diagonal. Set as diagonal curve. You see, I'm taking the red. So we'll pick the verticals now. Started. So we cannot 
Place it here. Place it here. Place it here. Place it here. Height, you know, this height is our default height. We can raise this height up. Uh, it will look small. And go to your building set out. Stories. Go here. Edit story. We can give this height. Height is, can give it a 6 meter. show you how you can put that uh, the triangular truss and put it here so let's see how we can bring in the tri triangular truss so go to your modeling go to your steel go to your truss pick here Assigned, yes. yes. Each frame, frame is not assigned. So check. Oh, this one is not assigned. So click on this and I do and give it what critical. the other way so you delete it A situation like this, you see, our, our, our truss is inserted, but it's inserted downward. So, when you have a situation like this, we, we undo it, go back, go back to our truss, insert our, our truss. So, you select from, from one point right from this point. 
to this point. You can see. So if you select the other word, then it will be inverted. So you take note. Then go to the members. Members are automatically assigned. The, the ones who are assigned, yes, we are comfortable with this. And click OK. You can assign. That I wanted to. Okay, let's now import our triangular truss at this point. So pick a truss, select from here to here, and then go to general, import, triangular truss, ok, so you give the same thing, pick, pick the starting point as here, pick the ending point as here, This, this, if I click, I give it um, vertical code. Set a stop code. Pick this, 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 and this. And set it as vertical. Pick this, set it as. This particular one, you can run it all through. In case you like this side curve one, I run it all through. Just a demonstration. So now I can undo and copy this. Copy, copy from here to here. So I have my uniform truss. I can pick my line. Select the first one, select the last one, and put your, your side rods the way you want them to be arranged. Load it, put load, you can add the load how you want. It's minus 0 0.23, depending on the load you estimate, the roof, the weight of roof members, the roof covering. It's coming to estimate it and then come assign to all members. Okay, I see it's being assigned. So you see, go to Q and then add, so you assign the same load minus 0 0.25. Customize your, your your trusses in AutoCAD and import it and use it in Proctor. So in our next lecture, I will, I will demonstrate to you how you can model a complete building, export it to Proctor Steel. After you run this, export it to Proctor Steel and do all your connections and get all your 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 design reports connection design reports I'm sure so watch out like this video and uh, subscribe if he is helpful to you thank you